Hi and welcome to this video on building a dashboard in Tableau. This is a first tutorial from the section of dashboard and storyboarding in Tableau. A dashboard is a collection of several views, letting you compare the variety of data simultaneously. For example, if you have a set of views that you review every day, you can create a dashboard that displays all the views at once, rather than navigate to separate worksheets. We can drag the views from all our worksheets on one dashboard. The three main purposes for a dashboard include the analytical purpose, which helps to identify historical trends, establish targets, predict outcomes, and discover insights. The operational purpose, to monitor, measure, and manage processes in real time. The strategic purpose, to track key performance indicator and progress towards established targets. Let's begin with loading our data set into Tableau. Click here at Connect to Data and select Text File, where we are navigated to our dataset. Notice that there are several other files in this folder as well. Once our data is loaded, it is present at the side in form of tables. Notice how all the datasets present in the folder are also listed out here automatically. This happens while we work with the CSV file format of data. Let's click below and go to the worksheet. To build our first view, let's drag measure names onto the column and measure values onto the text on the marks card. Let's also drag the measure names onto the filter shelf and select only the required fields needed to build our view. Click OK. You can see that a table has been built on the visualization. Let's just drag and adjust its size. Next. Right click on the table and click Format. This opens the format window for our visualization. Click on this tiny icon here to set the alignment of the text. Align as centered text. Next, click the tiny paint bucket icon to set the header color and also the paint colors. We can also set the size and color of the text by clicking on this tiny alphabet icon here. Lastly, let's just add a grid line to set sections for our tabular data visualization. Now, double click on the text at the top to set the title for the worksheet. We can also add formatting to the title text here, such as size and color adjustment. And we are ready with our first worksheet. Let's just build another worksheet. Click on this tiny icon below to open another worksheet. Start off by double clicking the latitude and longitude views and we have a map on a view to start working on. Next, drag the country field and drop onto the label on the marks card. This specifies all the countries present on our map. Now, let's drag the active cases field and drop onto colors on the marks card. It displays the total of active cases present in each country by color coding it. We can also set the color palette by clicking on the color marks card. 
Let's select red green diverging and hit OK. From the analysis tab, select percentage of table and Tableau converts the number of active cases as a percentage of total along the table. Hovering the cursor on each country displays its percentage in the tooltip. We can once again edit the colors of the map and this time let's go for red black. Lastly, double click on the text and our title is all set to go. Getting on to our third worksheet, let's drag WHO region onto the column and recovered cases to rows. We are presented with a bar graph displaying the number of recovered cases in the WHO regions. Drag the WHO region onto the filter shelf and edit the filter if you wish. Also, click Show Filter to display it on your worksheet. Lastly, double-click the title and hit Insert to add a dynamic value into the title. Now, as we play with the WHO filter, we'll see the title dynamically change. Let's also arrange the visualization to descending order. Remember, whatever changes we make to the worksheets will also be applied to the worksheets on a dashboard while working with it. Lastly, let's create one more worksheet. Drag WHO region onto the column and sum of new deaths onto the rows shelf. Also, drag the sum of new cases on the rows shelf since we want a comparative view. Click on the respective drop downs of the measures and change the aggregations to average. Next, go to the Analysis tab and change the values to percentage of the total of the table. Let's also convert the bar graph to area graph. Now, click on the axis and select Dual Axis. This gives a comparative view of the two graphs. Click on the T above to put labels on your graph. At the end, let's not forget to add a title to our visualization. It's time to build a dashboard now. Click on this icon at the bottom and it takes us to the dashboard called Dashboard 1. In the window where we can create our dashboard, we get a lot of tabs and options related to dashboarding. On the left, we have a dashboard pane which shows the dashboard size, list of available sheets in a workbook and objects. From the dashboard tab, we can set the size of our dashboard. We can enter custom dimensions like the width and height of the dashboard as per our requirements. Or you can select from a list of available fixed dashboard sizes. I will choose automatic so that it fits to any screen used to display it. Right next to the dashboard pane is the layout pane where we can enhance the appearance and layout of the dashboard by setting the position, size, and more. If I want to make the visuals occupy only as much space as required, or let's say auto-adjust the sizes according to the requirement, then from the Objects tab, first select either the horizontal or vertical arrangement and drop it on the dashboard sheet. Now, I will begin by selecting text from the dashboard 
and dropping onto the visualization. Here is where I will write the title of the dashboard. Also set it to the appropriate font and size. Now, we'll add a sheet onto our empty dashboard. To add a sheet, drag and drop a sheet from the Sheets column present in the Dashboard tab. It will display all the visualizations we have on that sheet on a dashboard. Our view is styled vertically. Now drag another sheet and see that the view has been tiled vertically again and has taken almost all the space available on the view. Each time we drop a view here, it fits into a vertical tiled arrangement. If you wish to change or adjust the size and pace of the visual, click on the graph. A drop-down list appears, having the option Floating, select it. This will unfix your chart from one position so that you can adjust it as per your liking. In a similar way, we can add as many sheets as we require and arrange them on the dashboard properly. The views can be dragged for sizing and adjusted. From the objects pane, we can add either a web page or any other button. We select to add an image here. Select the edit button option to explore the options you can select for an object. We can add an image like this. Once again, we are going to select floating and arrange our image on the dashboard. Also, you can right click on a view and select use as filter. Alternatively, click on this tiny filter icon present right here to use it as a filter. It allows the elements on the view to be used as a filter directly upon applying the filter or selections on a view. You can see how the dashboard becomes interactive as we click on any of the elements on any view. Similar or related information is also selected and displayed automatically for all the views present on a dashboard. As I select Africa, the map highlights the location, the global numbers are displayed for Africa and Africa's recovered cases are also displayed. Once a dashboard is ready, we can view it in the presentation mode. To enable the presentation mode, click on the icon present on the top bar or press F7. Here we can also apply the filter range to our data. The dashboard is interactive and will change the data according to the filters we apply or the selections we make. Thanks a lot for watching this video and we hope you learn how to easily get started with your own set of data in Tableau.